Welcome to this special edition of Now on Android, highlighting I.O. 2022 Android content, including Android Jetpack, Jetpack Compose, Android Studio, Android 13, Google Play, large screens, TV, cars, Wear OS, and more. Last week was Google I.O. The developer keynote and the What's New in Android talk have all of the I.O. Android developer announcements. Also, the Android Fireside Chat is back. Android leaders answered your questions from the stage. The alpha version of the Now and Android app that was featured in the developer keynote is available on GitHub. The app showcases best practices, opinionated designs, and solutions to complex real-world problems in a working app planned for publication on the Play Store. It will be one more way to help you keep up to date with your Android development areas of interest. It's still under heavy development and isn't yet feature complete, so stay tuned here for updates. Highlights from the What's New in Jetpack talk include updates to Room, Navigation, the new Jankstats library, and the 1.2 beta of Jetpack Compose. Compose 1.2 includes improvements to nested scrolling interop, support for downloadable fonts, improved support for lazy layouts, and more. The ever-popular What's New in Android Development Tools talk covered new features in the Android Studio Dolphin beta, such as Logcat v2, Wear OS and Compose enhancements, and Gradle Managed Virtual Devices, while the Electric Eel Canary adds SDK insights, Live Edit, Visual Lint, and Multi Preview for Jetpack Compose, Device Mirroring, Resizable Emulator, and App Quality Insights. Android went large at I.O., with four talks in a workshop to take you from design to implementation for large screens. Designing apps for large screens talks about how to expand and reorganize your UI purposefully. Learn how to update your app for the larger screen goes over the tech we're providing to make building for large screens easier. Implementing Android apps for all screen sizes explores development best practices with an emphasis on Jetpack Compose, navigation, managing state, and testing. Input for all screens includes best practices to support input methods like keyboard, mouse, and stylus. Finally, the Building an Adaptive Layout with Sliding Pane Layout Workshop teaches adding a list and detail layout to a hybrid Compose and View app with Sliding Pane Layout. We released the second beta for Android 13 and announced that the Android 13 beta is available to test on a range of devices from Asus, Lenovo, Nokia, OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, Sharp, Tecno, Vivo, Xiaomi, and ZTE. Developing privacy user-centric apps covers new Android 13 features, such as the notification runtime permission, the permission-free photo picker, and APIs to revoke permissions. We also had two talks covering the preview of Android's privacy sandbox. Basics for System Back covers the new Android 13 opt-in API that tells the system that you're handling back ahead of time to make the back experience more predictable and fluid. Best Practices for Running Background Work on Android explores how background work is changing in Android 13. What's New in Android Machine Learning covers updates to ML Kit, the custom ML stack, and introduces the new Google Code Scanner API and Google Play services to allow your app to request barcode scans without needing camera permissions. What's new in Android Camera provides a snapshot of what we're doing in Camera X, such as support for video capture and WYSIWYG camera controls, while What's new in Android Media covers how we're handling HDR media, spatial audio support, performance class 13, and the work we're doing in ExoPlayer, Jetpack Media 3, and the new Jetpack Core Performance Library. What's new in Android Accessibility covers the updates we're making to Android around accessibility, while the What's new in Accessibility for Developers talk details how you can improve the usability of your app for everyone, covering both Jetpack Composes and Android Studio's accessibility features. What's new in App Performance covers using Android Studio, Profetto, Android Vitals, and Macro Benchmark to help understand performance, along with using baseline profiles to improve app startup speed and reduce janky frames. It details the updated unbundled art runtime in Android 12 Plus, which includes performance and OpenJDK API updates. Finally, introducing Google Wallet and Developer API features details how you can use the Google Wallet API to digitize tickets, loyalty cards, and much more, evolving the previous Google Pay Passes API. Android lets you build for phones, TVs, watches, cars, and smart speakers, and we want to create an experience that works better together. Android solutions for seamless sign-in across devices allows users to easily work across multiple types of devices, while the Build Powerful Multi-Device Experiences talk covers a new library that leverages ultra-wideband BLE and Wi-Fi to enable multi-device experiences. 
The Create Beautiful Power Efficient Apps for Wear OS talk takes you through the Wear OS Compose Beta and the Power Efficient Health Services APIs, while the Introducing New APIs for Health and Fitness and Health Connect by Android talk covers how the Health Connect Alpha brings together Google Fit, Fitbit, and Samsung Health into one consolidated API. The What's New with Android TV and Google TV talk recaps the Android 12 improvements and takes you through new Android 13 features, such as expanded picture-in-picture -picture support, audio manager changes, and more. What's New with Android for Cars covers our progress and updates with Android Auto, Android Automotive OS, and the upcoming 1.3 release of the Car App Library. What's New in Google Play covers key Play updates around privacy and security, including the Google Play SDK Index, the Play Integrity API, and the Data Safety section. App Quality on Google Play is a deep dive through Play's app quality niches, including new ones such as the Developer Reporting API, Android Vitals Crashlytics integration, and the revenue plus revenue growth metrics in reach and devices. The success on Google Play Talk covers updates to custom store listings, store listing experiments, new payment methods, expander ultra-low price points, more flexible subscriptions, and in-app subscriber messaging. We also had talks that cover how to integrate Android widgets with Google Assistant, as well as what one needs to do to integrate Google Assistant into Androids for Cars. In Android Developers Backstage, Tor, Chet, and Romain chat with John and Andrew from the Play team about the Play Store app, which recently went through a major refactoring. John and Andrew guide you through the reasons why they did it, the impact on their architecture, what problems they ran into, and why they decided to adopt Jetpack Compose for the UI layer. So that's it for this time with Google I.O. 2022, the now and Android app, Android Jetpack, Jetpack Compose, Android Studio, Android 13, Google Play, large screens, TV, cars, Wear OS, and more. Remember to subscribe, share, and stay safe. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android developer universe, and head on over to the Now and Android blog post for more details, as well as links to all of the content described here.